This instructional video pertains to all Ridley models with LCD speedometers. The first step is to remove the speedometer housing. After removing the housing from the handlebars, press the speedometer display through the housing. Reposition any wires as necessary. Next, we remove the battery. On the back side of the speedometer is a small cap. Using a standard screwdriver, remove the cap to access the battery. Use a small pick to help remove the O-ring and the battery. Once we remove the battery, we replace it with a brand new battery. This is an SR44 battery, which is available at most grocery stores. Replace the O-ring and the cap. Be sure and tighten the cap. While looking on the back side of the speedometer, the left button is the size button and the right button is the set button. After replacing the battery, the speedometer is in program mode. The four flashing zeros indicate the odometer. Using the size button, press it until the 1,000 mile number is correctly set. In this demonstration, the actual mileage on the vehicle is 6,632 miles. To move to the 100 mile position, press the set button once. The cursor will blink in the 100 mile position. Press the size button until the desired number appears in the 100th position. Once that number is reached, press the set button again and use the size button to increment the 10 mile position to the desired number. And again, press the set button to move the cursor to the one mile position and advance the mileage to the correct number. Once the odometer is reading correctly, press the set button to save the mileage. Next, we program the time. By press and holding the set button while the time is showing, we enter the program mode for the time. To advance the hour position, press the size button until the appropriate time appears. Next, press the set button to move to the minutes. To save the time, press the set button. Next, we need to program the wheel size and the mileage or kilometers. Press and hold the set button while the odometer is displayed for four seconds. This will enter in through the time. If you press and hold during the time sequence, it'll allow you to adjust the time. So again, press the set button while the display is showing distance for four seconds. Press and hold for four seconds. Now we enter the wheel size requirement during the programming. The wheel size on auto glides is 125. So using the set and size buttons, advance the wheel size to 125. Now that the wheel size is correctly set, we press the set button. It advances us to the mileage or kilometers per hour. The default is kilometers. To change to miles per hour, press the size button and then the set button. Next, we replace the speedometer back into the housing. While replacing the speedometer in the speedometer housing, we need to pay special attention to the wires. When we go to clamp this back down on the handlebars, we need to make sure that the wires are out of the way and none of them get pinched. Finally, it's time to close this back up. So make sure that your handlebars are positioned correctly, install your bolts, and then tighten down. Once you get the bolts fairly tight, you may want to adjust the handlebars up and down to make sure that they don't hit the tank.